Hello, welcome to this podcast. Today's podcast is on pain. There are many kinds of pain. I think people think pain's pain, but it isn't. So there's physical pain in the body, emotional pain, mental pain. There's also psychological and past life pain. So pain is not just one thing in the body it can be coming from different sources and today I wanted to talk to you about that because I found that a lot of people's pain even though it feels and looks like it's physical predominantly is emotional and mental pain you might have had a very difficult life or you might have had an easy life but the collection of pain is still happening as we age our childhood's Oh, one place where the pain will start. So if you've had a difficult childhood or one of filled with abuse, with your violence, you will actually have uh, pain that is emotional and mental, psychological. And later as you get older, this will begin to manifest in the aura. The physical pain is obvious. It can be the pain you get when you actually fell over or hurt yourself, cut yourself. It can also be the end stage of the other pains manifesting now in the body and becoming physical. There's a belief that most pains come from emotional, mental, psychological and then manifest into the body as then become a physical pain. It starts as one thing and morphs into the body and as we get more and more of it, it goes into the actual physical body. But that doesn't mean we can't still get rid of it. The emotional pain is a very interesting one because it's how we feel, it's how other people make us feel and if we are with people who are not very nice or have had a lot of difficult people this life, you will probably have a lot of emotional pain. Anyone who's mean, nasty, abusive, emotionally neglectful, emotionally not there, um, hurtful, unloving, unkind, these people will all get a reaction in you which will be emotional pain. They will hurt you. Hurt and pain, emotional pain are similar but they're not quite the same and today I'm really just talking about emotional pain. Things that will give us emotional pain are also to do with loss. So we've lost people through death or um, we've lost friends, lost family members, home, lost our job. We lost our life, our whole life is just shattered and now we don't have that life anymore. Lost our children maybe through custody problems. This will create enormous pain in your aura and it's important that you begin to see this. So your backache isn't really a backache and uh, your sore leg isn't really a sore leg. These are all manifestations of the emotional pain that you're trying to deal with and when you can't deal with it we just put it somewhere so we just keep putting it there and putting it there and putting it there I noticed with me I kept putting it in my stomach and in my throat and then I ended up having throat and stomach problems because I just had to find somewhere to put it and that's where I put it also you put it in your heart I put some there as well you will intuitively know where you put it because it's where it hurts and that's where you're having trouble So it's a negative thing. I've done a podcast on negativity and negative energy. But this is a little different because it's an actual feeling thing or the way we we think. The mental pain will come often from stress, from stress from work, from trying to get a project going. You're living with someone and it's mentally stressful to live with them. Or you're in an, an environment where you may be isolated and that is also mentally stressful and the psychological one will be the combination of how we feel and how we think so emotional pain is how we feel mental pain is how we think and psychological is the combination of the two past life pain can be brought in as well it's pain we didn't deal with in other lives sometimes we died early like died quickly and we couldn't process everything that happened to us Other times we carried it and didn't want to deal with it and then we'd come in this life and start having to deal with it. 
if you do any past life pain work, you'll often get a flashback, you'll see an image. If you go to a good intuitive or healer, clairvoyant, they might even be able to tell you where that pain came from, whether it originated and why you've brought it in and now you're just layering it and putting it on, on top. This is why people who had lung problems in other past lives will come in and now their pain, I'll put it straight where the lung is, or they'll pay to put it straight where their lower back is. So if we put pains all over our body. It's an intuitive but unknowing thing that we do. So don't be hard on yourself for doing it. It's a coping mechanism. So we're at work and we're in a meeting and the boss humiliates us or upsets us and it really hurts so we don't want to show it, so we just put it somewhere. And then later on, he'll start to maybe nudge us. We don't want to go there. And some of the pains that we put, we've actually put them in and then we tell ourselves we will not go there again. It's too painful. I will never, ever go back to that place, um, which now presents problems because you've set up a thing in your mind that you will not deal with it. It's too painful. When you're doing the release work around pain, it's a good idea to set up a little mantra that I will now release it. I'm telling myself, my mind, you know, my mind, because that's where it is, that I will now release it. So I'm in a place because I went through it and I'm still here, so now I can do it and it won't be as bad. Because the secondary release will never be feel as bad as the first pain that you got. People put the emotional pain very much around their hearts and around their stomach, the solar plexus. I found they're very much in those areas. The mental pain very much around the head and a lot of mental pain around the back of the neck as well. Use the same tools as we've spoken about before. Tapping, meditation, release work visualisation, Reiki, any others that you find are good, using the pendulum, and try and get rid of your pain. I checked people and it was really interesting that illnesses or diseases that they had that the doctors could not find a reason for after they did the test usually came back as emotional, very much as emotional, and then also as mental or psychological. These pains are not any less painful by the way if you have an emotional pain it will it will hurt as much as a physical pain so it's not like it's the pain is less because it's not physical it's just once we see where it's coming from then we go there and we let it go the emotional pain that people have can be huge um, so when you are thinking about yourself if you've had a very difficult life emotionally go straight there go straight to emotional pain and start releasing it if you've had a very mentally stressful life and you've been dealing with a lot of stuff go there if psychologically you feel you've been battered by life go there straight away this will then once you rid yourself of those pains then it won't necessarily now manifest into the physical it's very interesting too that the pains will often be emotions. So I remember one morning I came up with a terrible migraine and my youngest son, he, I think he was only like nine or ten, he turned to me and he went, so mum, who are you angry with? And I stopped and I thought and I worked it out. Yep, I was angry with a certain person and it precipitated my migraine. So it was actually an emotional pain that I'd almost created myself because of the way that I felt. Your emotions will be very key for you. If you ask those questions, what I'm scared of, who I'm angry at, who I'm upset with. And then the thought forms will be how you think. If you're thinking negatively or you're feeling very, very stressed or you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling that you're desperate and even though I'm using the feeling word it actually will be a mental thought process that you have. Good luck with doing this work. I think it's really powerful. I had a, a lot of emotional pain 
I found that interesting from my life, less of the others. And yet when I checked other people, they had more mental pain. I think for everyone it will be different. You will probably be able to work out which one you have the most of, so start there and then you can work on all the others. The other way is if you're not sure, just cover all your bases. So do all your tapping or whatever you want to do, release work on the, on the four of them and then include any past life pain you want to release it now. Because our mind and our intention will do it. We just have to realise that it's not instant. And if you've had a hard life, you will have more pain that you're actually carrying. Whereas if you've had a really easy life and it's been pretty wonderful and there's been love and laughter and not much stress, you will have less. We will have to work harder if we've had more. And it's not necessarily our fault, it's just the way it went. It was part of what we chose to experience in our lessons, but it doesn't mean there isn't quite a lot of damage. The idea is that we release this and have less damage in the body. The other good thing about releasing these pains is that we won't be so prone to getting them again or having them. People are wise and intuitive and people know energy. If you have a lot of emotional pain, they will sense that and if then perhaps not coming from a good space and want to upset us, they will try and give more emotional pain. Abusers are like that. They will sense your weak spots. However, once you release the emotional, mental, psychological pain, you won't be such a target because you're not walking around with it. The other pains, it's like almost having a target. So hit me here because I'm not very good here and I'll hit you there energetically. The work's exciting to do. It will make you feel better. It will make your health better. And you won't be carrying all that around with you now. And your life should be feeling, in, gen in general, less painful. It will take time for the physical body to get better and you might want to use herbs and medications anything to help it along you don't just have to do the energy work I use everything so if you have certain pains it's okay to use other things to work at the same time it's like we're trying to get rid of it on all levels as well do the work it can only make you feel better you can also send healing to other people like if you know that your mum's a lot of emotional pain or your brother's very mental pain you just send healing to them asking for the pain to be release, released and lifted if you are working in the healing areas you'll know other things that you can do to release from that person then they can choose if they want to put it back or not but our life without pain is a much happier life <laughs> and it's a much easier life this, this I hope is going to be a good week for you less pain <laughs> um, when now you, you've realised and your life is how you feel and how you think so when we get rid of those things it should be better love and light to you